Good evening, everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, I believe, my first video, so bear with me because I might get a little nervous and start stuttering. I've never been so nervous to speak in front of a freaking camera, even though I am a gibber jaw. So, anyways, um, my channel is called Palm Say Magnifique. And what does that stand for, people say? The P is for property, O of M, me, property of me, my mind, my body, my soul. Say magnifique just means it's gorgeous in French. So that just means that we're going to talk about more than surgery on my YouTube channel. So you might see anything from me talking about being a mom, me talking about being a dog mom, because I have lots of dogs and I have puppies too. And we also will talk about just, you know, our souls and how becoming a mommy took away from us. That's going to take me into um, my journey of my tummy tuck surgery, which is actually in about two weeks, less than two weeks. I'm so excited. Yes, I am. So I've seen everybody on YouTube talking about the things that they're taking on their trip. I'm not going to the DR, but I am going to San Diego, California. The reason why is, is I want to look like a flamingo. Yes, yes, yes. People keep asking me why am I leaving. And the real reason is, is because I have lots of stuff to do at home and I want to be able to get away because I want to be able to heal the way that I'm supposed to. So with that said, my surgery is scheduled for December the 3rd. My pre-op appointment is December the 2nd. Yes, yes, yes. It is official. I cannot wait. I have six children and I have had seven pregnancies. So, my belly is out of whack. People might say it's not. I'll show you some pictures um, of my belly sucked in, where I'm out and about and I'm trying to be cute. And then there are other times when I'm just running around the house and of course it doesn't matter, right? Because we're in the house, the kids don't care. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the video so you all are not like, okay, get to the point, get to the point. So, here's what we have. Um, the first thing, um, and I'm not going in any particular order, I'm just going to go, just, I've watched so many people's videos, thank you everybody for posting all of your pre-op, post-op, middle, beforehand, all that great stuff, it is extremely helpful and that's the reason why I really wanted to start the YouTube, uh, start the YouTube channel, but now since I've started, I'm like, oh, I got a lot of stuff to talk about, so anyways, this video is supposed to be directed towards what am I taking to my surgery um i'm gonna be staying for two weeks in san diego um there's a hotel that they have that's linked to my surgeon's office um which is called uh, the office is called feel beautiful um my doctor is uh dr laverson i believe is how you pronounce it um super cool dude love him to death don't even know him that well but i've seen him already i did go to the appointment and i i didn't want to do a virtual appointment because i felt like no, I need you to see what we're dealing with here so I can know what I'm supposed to do about it and how is it going to work or is it not going to work. And also just to, you know, feel the feel the energy to make sure that this surgery is for me. Because, of course, your doctor, they either are for you or they're not. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't feel right, it ain't right. So let's jump into what I'm taking. Um, I'm just going to grab the stuff and I'll just go ahead and put it in my suitcase down here. So, um... These are all things that I've heard people talk about, and I've kind of weeded out some things, of course, because I don't feel like I'm going to need them. So, anyways, no offense to anybody that might need the stuff, or maybe you may not think that you need the stuff that I have, but we're going to go through it anyways. So, um, I ordered some, I just keep hearing all the great stuff about Arnica gel. So, um, I ordered the Arnica kit, which is um, these pills here, which comes in a little bottle. little bottle um and of course i'm gonna take it out once i get ready to really leave so i can save some space in my box here or in my um suitcase here um so i've got the pills and then i have the tea as well and here's the tea the arnica tea 
Um, and what this tea does is it's supposed to be um, your natural anti-inflammatory. So we all know that we're going to be swelling and bruising and all that great stuff. So this here is supposed to be a natural remedy to keeping you from having so much swelling and bruising. Because, of course, they don't want you taking any NSAIDs. And what NSAIDs are are your combination of like naproxen or Advil or um, any type of anti-inflammatory for the most part. They don't like you taking because they don't want you to get leaky gut. Um, if you want to know what that is, you can look it up. I am a nurse, by the way, so I can tell you some of these things, but I'm not going to really go into detail with it or whatever. Just know that you shouldn't be taking any anti-inflammatories before your surgery. Um, and then, of course, follow your surgeon's detail, you know, for, uh, directions as far as what you should do. Um, so the Arnica tea is everybody. I mean, I've heard this from every YouTube video I've watched about a pre- and post-op uh surgery with um either people are talking about bbls and all that great stuff and i'm not getting a bbl i'm just getting a tummy tuck the abdominoplasty is the um technical term for it and that's when they go in and pretty much pull your muscles back together which they've been stretched out from having babies um so again people live by this arnica tea so make sure you get you some and it can't hurt so even if it's i don't know it's not gonna make you like die so if you want to get it you get it and it's not that expensive either um Next thing I'm going to show you all is uh, I bought these protein bars because protein, just as from being a nurse, um, protein is a good way to um, restore your blood, uh, your blood supply because you're going to lose a lot of blood in surgery. It also is a um, quick healer, so your body, you know, responds to protein. Um, if you don't have any, of course, you don't heal well. So these were on sale, and they're actually pretty expensive, but you get four in a box for like seven uh, they're originally $35 but I got them for $17.50 um, at Target love Target um, they have 20 grams of protein and I'm in one gram of sugar and these are supposed to be like birthday cake um, uh, flavor and I've heard people say after surgery they don't really have the appetite or whatever so hopefully these are sweet enough and good enough for you to eat you can eat one and that is equivalent to like a whole meal for the most part so of course you're going to be drinking mass water and it also makes you drink water because it's protein um so those are that um <laughs> so you all are going to crack up but i heard about <laughs> naval training and or belly button training whatever you want to call it and i bought these freaking marbles right so <laughs> I didn't pay attention to the size of the marbles, so of course they are huge. You can't, you may not be able to see how big they are in the video, but I'm gonna hold one up and I'm gonna hold it to my watch so you can kind of see how big the marble is. <laughs> or maybe I should probably be holding it up to my belly button, but this is not gonna work. I just thought I was gonna show y'all just because um, you do need to train your belly button because what happens is um, if you don't like train it, it'll just close up and you'll just have like, it'll look like a little slit. So if you want your belly button to look like a belly button, then you're going to have to train it. But um, I ordered some more marbles, but these are just too big. So we're not going to put those in the bag because of course they're really heavy. Um, so you just need one marble for the most part. You put them, um, there's a lot of YouTube videos on it. There's one girl who's super, super cool, super, super funny to me. And it's just cool to watch the video so if you get a chance watch her um I, i'm just learning how to use youtube so i don't really know how to link people but if i figure it out i'm gonna link her down at the bottom or whatever so you can all go on to her um her video and see how she trains her belly button it's really cute um next thing i got a heating pad because i can use that on my back you're not supposed to really put anything on on the on the on the surgeries artwork or the surgeon's artwork is what we call it because you don't want to you know cause yourself to have any issues in, in the long run or whatever but i bought that i'm gonna put the heating pad in there because it can help with your back because you're gonna have back pain from pretty much hunching over or whatever they say you're gonna have to hunch over to be able to walk so what you do is you take the strain off your belly but you put it on your back so you can put this in the back of your recliner because everybody swears by recliners for healing so if you have a recliner, you can put it in your recliner and just kind of lay on it. It'll just comfort you a little bit. Um, so we're going to take that. I got a shower curtain liner, which is what people are saying um, you're supposed to have to put over the bed so you don't ruin their bed with the blood. I, again, I'm not getting lipo, so it probably won't be that much blood. But 
just to be on the safe side, I'm going to lay, um, you know, lay this over the bed and put some, um, get some old sheets. Once I get there, I'm going to go, me and my friends are going to go shopping or whatever and get some old sheets from like the, or not old sheets, but cheap sheets from like the dollar store or whatever, um, to put over the bed for the first couple of days. So I don't get any blood on their sheets and stuff and get charged because this surgery is not cheap and I don't want to be paying no extra money. So that's that. And I've got mega 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 cough drops because what they do is when you get anesthesia they pretty much kill you so <laughs> i don't want to scare you but you die like i mean they literally take your breath away they put you you know you you get um intubated is what they call it um and you get a tube down your throat which the tube is connected to oxygen and the oxygen helps you breathe throughout the surgery and they of course they help your your heart monitor or whatever on to make sure that you're not dead but just a joke anyways you need these because your throat is going to be really dry when you come out of surgery because of the intubation. It's a little tube, the tube that they put down your throat or whatever makes you super, um, makes your throat dry. So, me, you'll learn this about me as you watch my videos. I am probably the manicest person you ever meet. Manic means you do super, you have super impulse. You, you shop on impulse. So, um, between me and my friends, they hear me talk about stuff or whatever, and they help me be impulsive. So I have like five different packs of cough drops because I'll probably eat them. Anyways, so I got those Ricola's, the lemon mint. I've got the Halls, um, lemon, honey, honey lemon. I've got some more that I just, um, had left over from last year's COVID because I worked in unit. So I would keep these in my pocket just to kind of keep my um my uh throat lubricated or whatever just in case i get a cough or something because of course when you cough during the pandemic for covid everybody looks at you they want to arrest you and take you to jail so anyways i've got a little bag of them in here um and i got so those in that bag are um the honey lemon with echinacea and echinacea is good for immunity so I like to eat these because they just, I mean, I give them to the kids, give them, a, give them about six or seven of them to put in their pocket when they go to school and I tell them to eat one an hour, suck on one an hour. Don't bite it, just suck on it. And my mom, again, more honey lemon cough drops. They won't let me go without them. So there you go. Got a whole bunch of those. Um, I got band-aids and I got to show you these because they're super cool. They are black band-aids brown band-aids rather band-aids for dark skin folk you see them there ha <laughs> i love them all right so anyways I'm, I'm obsessed with these but anyway i actually have a white friend who wanted a black band-aid so i gave her a whole box of them because i thought they were pretty cool and she loves them so anyways um god cotton nail flushable wipes and the plumber will tell you do not flush these so you do not flush them but they serve the same purpose as baby wipes because you will not be able to um wipe your bottom that well so uh to be quicker you use flushable wipes and of course you know you're not again you don't flush them they say flushable but if you flush them you will mess up the freaking toilet so don't flush them but anyways, you're going to need some baby wipes because you're going to have to wipe your bottom. And so I was watching this surgeon. His name is Dr. Barrett. And he told me that you need some of these. So this, if I don't want to take any pain medication, I can take this. It's CBD oil. And you put it up under your tongue. It's 1,500 milligrams. This here is expensive, like red bottoms. It costs like 124 but they say it's well worth it. So I did try it, um, and it actually works well to help me sleep. I am up at all hours of the night. Right now, it's about 1230 here, so it's past midnight, and I'm up wide awake. So this helps with sleep, and it helps with pain. So um, you might want to invest in this. If you don't, that's cool too, but I invested in mine because I don't want no pain. I want to be able to walk around without no pain and I got some cold packs so um the theory is 
not to put heat on stuff, but you can put cold packs on stuff. So I was gonna use these because um, the when you when you use a cold pack, it helps with bruising, um, any type of pain, um, and of course you only keep the uh, cold pack on there for like 20 minutes. You take it off for 20 minutes, and then you can use it again for 20 minutes. But these are instant cold comforts, so they're ready to use. All you do is pop them open, squish them up a little bit or whatever, and they get cold. So these are pretty cool for using as cold packs. Um, swelling and bruising. Um, so that same surgeon, Dr. Barrett, I bought these from him after I bought all these freaking supplements. So, um, pay close attention and watch all your videos before you go start buying stuff. Because guess what? You'll go buy all of this stuff and then you'll realize, I don't even need this, I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this. I could have just bought these and I'd have been cool. So, this is called Heal Fast, right? And it has all these vitamins and minerals in it that help you pre-surgery and post-surgery. But I will tell you that it's not enough in here because you have to take four, I believe it is, four a day, twice a day. And you only get 40 in here. And it says you should start about 10 days before your surgery. And the vitamins and minerals that are in here, they have a probiotic in here as well. They've got um, glutamine, which also helps with bruising and swelling. Um, and they've got the B, some of the B vitamins are in here, um, vitamin A um, and vitamin C. So again, be careful what you take. I mean, listen to your surgeon. If they've got another process for you, you use that, you use that process or whatever. But if you're going in blind, this is awesome. Um, well, I don't know it's awesome yet because I haven't had my surgery yet, but we'll find out. And I'm a pretty healthy person, but I just want to be, I want to be on my, on my game when I get there so that they won't have no reason to tell me that I can't get my surgery for whatever reason. So, um, this is pre-op again. You only get 40 in here and then this is post-op and you get a hundred and you only got to take five of these, I believe a day times twice a day. And I believe, I guess you take them maybe, I don't know, for two weeks or something afterwards. But Dr. Barry has a video um, and the video, he's got a YouTube video and it tells you all the stuff that you should um, do pre cert you know, like it's got like 20, 20 things that you should do pre-op, pre post-op, whatever. I don't know. Good video though. I mean, there are so many videos out there on YouTube. If you want to see the actual surgery. You can see the surgery. I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. So anyways, get you some heal fast because then you don't have to buy all those other vitamins. Now, some people talk about having anemia. Um, I don't know if this is going to help with anemia or not, but there are lots of vitamins in here. It's got some folic acid in here. Folic acid helps with um, anemia. Um, also, there are some other vitamins in here that can help you with that, um, with anemia to, you know, make sure that your numbers are right or whatever before you go for surgery. Cause they do do your labs. Um, I don't know, depending on which surgeon you go to, they might do them the day before you go, or they might tell you to bring your labs from wherever doctor you go to your primary care provider. Um, so that's that. Um, I did buy the, um, the, uh, poise pads because I heard people talking about those, but then my mom bought me all these boxes of surgical dressings. So you get some of these and you put them on your um, your incision while you're trying to heal. Um, and it basically just, you know, I don't know, you use these and you got you gotta get some uh, medical tape or whatever and then you're good to go. One of these boxes is 12, it's 12 in a box. And if I know right, most surgeons will say change your dressings twice a day so whatever way, I don't know, whatever you're supposed to do, I'm going to just do it, whatever. Um, but these are at Walmart. Um, so I've, I'm going to, I opened the box up or whatever, and I'm going to pack 12 because I'll be in San Diego for um, two weeks. So I feel like this will be enough for me to get through the two weeks. Um, so I'll put these in here. And then I've got these for the belly button training so you put these um this is just a four by four and same thing like they'll tell you some people will use a, a ear plug um you're supposed to put some uh neosporin or some polysporin or whatever on it um and then basically you're gonna pack your belly button and then you put this over the belly button um 
uh, over the over your belly button or whatever and you tape it down so that it doesn't get exposed to anything and it also keeps it from keeps it from getting any bugs on it you'll hear me talk about bugs but when I say bugs I mean infections like MRSA or you know what staff whatever you want to call it MRSA staff whatever whatever you want to call it bugs mean infections or you know I mean even I guess it could be I don't know we can refer to bugs as parasites as well because parasites can get in there too and cause you to have major issues and we don't want that so cover your stuff up good old Lysol for the toilet when you get there wherever else you got to spray down because I'm super OCD when I go on the unit they'll tell you Oh Lord, let Bridget wipe down the unit because she, you know, she ain't gonna do right unless she get the unit wiped down. So I am one of those people that if I have not wiped down the unit, do not talk to me. Don't try to give me a report, none of that, because I don't want to hear it until I get finished wiping down the unit. Sometimes you wipe down the unit and you find out the unit ain't been wiped down in 20 days. So when you look at the white washcloth or you look at the white wipe after you wiped it, it's filthy and that's horrible. But I got my lights on. Um. Everybody talks about bio oil. Bio oil is almost extinct wherever you look. They don't have it at Walmart here. I live in Indiana. They don't have it at Walmart nowhere. They don't have it nowhere. I had to get this from CVS. It was like $33 for this bottle. And this is actually the biggest bottle I've seen. It's a 6.7 floor ounce or 200 milliliters. So um, if you're looking for it, try CVS. They probably have it. And of course, you can order it off of Amazon. Amazon was like... 26 but by the time you add up the price and the shipping it was about the same price so i was like oh well i might as well just get it from the store because at least i know i got it in my hand i got some stool softeners some docolax some good old docolax docutate sodium is what they call it um you should take about you'll probably take about one of those a day and that's to just make sure that you um you don't have any constipation because anybody that has to take pain pills the pain pills, narcotics will cause you to be constipated. And if you've had tummy tuck surgery or abdominoplasty, you know that you should not be straining or doing anything that's going to hurt your belly. Because they say sneezing, coughing, and using the bathroom is the worst things that you can do. Um, and also vomiting, obviously. So hopefully you, don't, you won't have any issues with vomiting either. But they say that's the worst. It hurts horribly. And, you know, people swear, swear that it can cause you to have some setbacks. So we don't want to have any setbacks. So with that said, we're going to take our Dr. State sodium so we can be all right. Um, this here is actually some shea butter that my little niece makes. So it's raw shea butter. Boom. And guess what it smells like? Baby powder. So once your, once your scar is healed, you know, it has to be healed, so the stitches have to be out if you have stitches. It has to be closed up. You don't want to put anything on your scar if it's not closed up. I just know that from being a nurse. So, you don't put anything on it when it's opened up. You do whatever the surgery, or, you know, whatever your surgeon tells you to do. You don't put anything on it while it's open. Um, but once you're healed and you want it to, you know, you want your skin to look luscious again, you can use this shea butter. Good stuff. Or your bio oil. I got lots of stuff for skin because I don't know, black folk. We just we're obsessed with our skin because we don't want it to we don't want it to look bad. So I think everybody's probably obsessed with their skin. They don't want it to look bad, but we just like me. I have lots of skin allergies, so I have to watch what kinds of stuff that I use. I've got a nickel allergy. I've got a latex allergy. I've got I'm allergic to bee stings. I'm allergic to some apples. So it's a lot of I'm allergic to shellfish, and I don't want no trouble. So, I have to watch what I use. So, the things that I use, what I'm telling you, are all kind of hypoallergenic, must I say. So, if you have issues with skin, um, you know, if you have any type of allergies, your skin um, breaks out from anything or whatever, pay close attention to some, of the, uh, to some of the skin stuff that I'm telling you about because I've used it on other parts of my body and I know I haven't had any reactions to it. So, that means that I can almost swear by it. There you go. Um... Tylenol PM. I got these from Costco. They said that if you um, choose not to take the pain medication, that these are really good for pain and for sleep. So I got these. I got a real big bottle of them too. Um, so I'm just going to take the whole bottle with me. But I'm going to um, 
I'm going to get me a pill uh, separator or whatever so that I can put my pills in there the way that I need to take them, you know, the amount and all that good stuff. So um, my support people that are going with me, I got two friends going with me and my daughter's going to end up coming up there as well. Um, so to make sure that they don't um, overdose me and kill me before I come back, <laughs> I'm going to put everything on, line up everything or whatever before the actual surgery day. Uh, what else I got? I got a good old handy dandy blood pressure cuff. Ah. So that's just from, like I said, from being a nurse or whatever. I can, you know, if anything happens or whatever, I can make sure I'm, they can check my blood pressure or whatever. And I'm, they can use that to report um, anything to the surgeon or whatever have you. Um, I've also got good old handy dandy thermometer. Boom. And it's not, it's touch free. So you just put it to the forehead. Boom. And it gives you a temperature. I think I'm good. All right, and then it go it pop, it goes off automatically as well. So that's a good old handy dandy thermometer from um, Costco. Twenty two dollars. Um, good old Tylenol extra strength. You take that in the daytime when you you know if you have any issues with pain or whatever, whatever. You can take um. These are 500 milligrams. You can take two of these every six hours, I believe it is. If you, I don't know, if you don't want to take the pain medication that the doctor orders for you. Because you, I don't know. I'm, I'm crazy about it. I think it's, you know, it's such a sad thing that we've got so many people addicted to pain medications. And I don't want to be that one. Um, I've taken them before and I, I'm not, I don't have any addictions to anything other than shopping, obviously. But um, I just don't want to create a problem that I didn't have before. So, um I'm going to get my prescriptions filled, you know, as the surgeon says to. And if I need to take them, I'm going to take them because you shouldn't be in pain. Um, but in the same breath, I'm not going to, that's not going to be my, my whole game plan. You know what I mean? Um, this here is HIPAA cleanse. This is um, the little body wash that they give you the day before a surgery. So you got to wash your whole body with this before you go in. You can't put on any lotions, no makeup, no nothing. You got to wash your whole body with this. And this just um, is an antibacterial soap that keeps you from um, getting any infection. It's, it's supposed to keep you from getting any infections. Um, you're going to probably use this for the first three days. Um, they don't let you take a shower, but when you do take a shower from, you know, from being on punishment from taking a the shower, then you can use this. Um, so I'm just gonna take that. That's gonna be my body wash. I'm not taking none of my bath and body work stuff, none of that stuff, because I ain't gonna be able to use it and I'm not gonna use my weight on my suitcase for some bath and body works that I can't use. So Hippo Cleanse is gonna be my best friend. I've got another bottle of it in there and actually they give you a bottle when you go, my surgeon gives you a bottle of it or whatever when you go to your pre-op appointment. So there's that. Um, these are compression stockings or anti-embolism stockings. And what these do is keep you from getting a blood clot. You're supposed to put these on when you go in for surgery. Um, what happens is they actually give your body, give your legs a little massage. So when you're walking around or you do your little heel, um, your little heel things or whatever, you, um, these little anti-embolism, they work, it's weird the way they work. And I got thigh highs because, I don't know, I don't know. My mama got it for me. I got that house. But I got all, a whole bunch of colorful ones too. So I'm going to do another video of the clothes that I'm taking up, whatever. And my colorful uh, anti-embolism stockings are in there. So you'll be able to see my look. My ones that I wear to work. Um, but yeah, these are um, these are going to keep you from getting a blood clot. Blood clots are really, 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 really serious. Because if you get a blood clot, you can get a PE. Which is a pulmonary embolism. And you don't want that. What that is, is a blood clot that goes to your lungs. And what it can do is kill you so it usually comes from not moving around so you or after surgery so once after surgery um you'll see that you have these compression devices on that um they they blow up and then they go down they blow up and then they go down they blow up and they go down but they're going to take those off because it costs a lot of money so when you leave you need to get you some of these because these are going to take the place of those little air compression devices or whatever that keep your um keep your blood circulating or whatever through your legs um and what happens like i said what happens is, is if you if if you let that blood pool what we call it p-o-l-l -L, you let that blood pool in your legs what it does is it sits there and your blood clots and then what happens is, is when you do finally get up or you do make that sudden move that blood clot can move up to your lungs you don't want them problems 
You really don't want them problems. Real serious stuff. You got any questions about it, I promise you, if you Google it, they'll tell you all about it. But I don't want to have this video too long and bore anybody. That's not boring stuff, but it's kind of scary actually. But I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to go too deep into it because I'm not a doctor. I'm just a nurse. But I can tell you a lot of stuff about issues with those. Even from pregnant women going home and their husband don't know what's wrong with them because they're complaining of some type of back pain that they have that they can't get rid of with the pain medication. Yeah, real stuff. And then they end up dying and the, the husband is getting charged with manslaughter because he didn't he didn't know what was going on she didn't know what was going on everybody looking around like well did the husband kill her no the husband didn't kill her she died of a pe come on now so anyways that's real serious stuff that happened in real life to one of my nurse buddies so just know it can happen to anybody um and then i think this is last but not least but if not i'm gonna be adding to this video these right here because I will be having my menses probably a week after the surgery. And I told you I'm going to be in San Diego for two weeks. So Mother Nature is going to come visit and she wants to see what the belly is doing. Huh. So I got to take these because I'm going to need them. Um, I think I have touched everything. And a lot of the stuff that I don't have is because I'm going to get it when I get there because I don't want it to weigh down my suitcase or whatever. So, anyways, um, I'm going to go back and edit this video and add some of those pictures that I was talking about. So, again, for all the ADD people in the crowd, the ADHD people in the crowd that can't keep focus, we're going to help y'all out. I'm going to show y'all some pictures of me when I with my belly gut so you all can see that I'm... I'm really excited about getting this tummy tuck, and I hope y'all are too. So follow me on my journey, please, and subscribe to my page if you would, and we're going to hang out for this next two weeks. Actually, it'll be probably about eight weeks, right, because I'm going to let y'all follow me until I get the result. I see the results that I want to see. So thank y'all for visiting. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.